you're winning. You're winning. You're winning. Hello, you are winning with Epic Understanding. Tonight I have um, Hello, you are I hear a crazy echo. So maybe I'm already buzzed. Maybe I'm already buzzed. Maybe you that and so maybe you're buzzed too. How about that? But anyway, I have with me tonight. Ellen Razzleton, and she has been getting buzzed since May. What does that mean? Well, let's find out. Hi, Ellen. How are you? Good. How are you? I am fantastic. Why have you been getting buzzed since May? What's going on with that? <laughs> So uh, right before Memorial Day, May 25th, to be very specific, I opened a business called Buzz Bull Creamery in St. Charles, Missouri. So we are a liquid nitrogen creamery, which means uh -huh. we make fresh ice cream and milkshakes to order with liquid nitrogen and flash freeze it right before each customer's eyes. And because we use liquid nitrogen, we're able to add alcohol as well. Ooh, that sounds wonderful. And so is it extra creamy because of the alcohol and the nitrogen? It is creamy because of the nitrogen. So the nitrogen is stored at negative 321 degrees. So when we freeze um, our different milk base or our non-dairy base, um, it creates a very, very small particle size, which makes yeah. a very creamy texture. Oh my God, my mouth is melting. My <laughs> mouth is melting. Oh my goodness. So what kind of flavors do you have? What, what can we get into? Sure. So we have over 30 flavors. We have a specialty menu and a create your own. So for our specialties, we have things like strawberry shortcake, honey, bourbon pecan, death by chocolate, bonfire, hard apple pie. So we have a lot of really good custom flavors. And then we also have your classic vanilla. That's probably what we sell the most of. So really? if you just want a strawberry ice cream or vanilla with sprinkles, we got that too. Wow. Now, Maddie has a really good question. Does the ice cream taste like alcohol? So as it comes... It does not. So it's kind of like a mixed drink, right? Where if you get the right okay. portions, you don't really taste the alcohol. However, if you want to add more shots and you want to taste the alcohol, we can certainly make it that way. <laughs> oh, shot, 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 shot. <laughs> <laughs> so when is, when is a good time uh, to have, you know, ice cream with a buzz? When is a good time? That depends on you. We have some people literally waiting for us as soon as we open at 11 every day, like, go in there. I'm ready to get my butt. <laughs> Wait, what do you have for lunch? Ice cream. Literally. And they're always yes, like, there you go. Pull me over. I can blame y'all, right? I can say I wasn't drinking. I was just eating ice cream. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so do you, will you get a buzz? Really? You can. So again, I compare it back to a mixed drink. If you can have one drink in your buzz, then one ice cream is enough for you. But if you're the type of person who needs like eight drinks, then maybe not just off the one. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, this is a new way to get your drink on. I think I like it. I think I like it. Now, I'm fascinated by the whole process. Could you peek back there? Is there some sure. smoke going on? Let me see. Let's see. So we are in business right now serving customers. Maybe nothing at this moment, but <laughs> you can see my staff working hard back there uh, to get these custom creations out. So if I hear the mixer start back up, I'll pan back over. Okay, yes, because when I saw the smoke, the smoke itself just looked so interesting and intriguing. What is the science behind that? Sure. So uh, my background is in biology and genetics. So when I found this concept, I thought it was just a perfect culmination of all my interests, right? Something fun, ice cream, something exciting, the alcohol, and then something sciencey, the liquid nitrogen. So um, 
we have a 3,000 liter tank and my staff mm-hmm. knows the entire spiel. They know how to explain it to everyone. <laughs> so okay. we, um, everything is automated. Uh, it's a very high tech function and we're able to add the nitrogen directly to our bowls, our KitchenAid mixer bowls um, to flash freeze everything. Wow. So is this adult only? Not adult only. Everything we make can also be non-buzz. So we are so we're totally kid friendly. <laughs> yeah, you can get, you know, non-buzz for the kids and something special for you. <laughs> okay, I like it. Wait, so the kids won't even know that mom and dad are getting a little buzz today. I like to view it as this is a place you can truly take everyone. You can bring your partner, you can bring your grandma, you can bring your kids. We have something for everybody, truly. That, I mean, this is just beautiful. This is just beautiful. And actually, I found out this is a franchise, right? It is. So um, Buzz will open the first location in Cincinnati in 2017. And then they began franchising in 2019. So it's still very new. My location is number 11 in the nation and the only one west of the Mississippi. Okay. The only one west of the Mississippi. How's business been since you opened up? Man, we have been overwhelmed, but in a good way. I started off with four people and was like, well, two in the morning, two in the evening, that'll be fine. No, after our first day, I was like, okay, and I need to double my staff. So we've had a great response. I think a lot of people are really intrigued by the concept. You know, yeah. we have our, tw- our what is it, 4,500 pound tank right in the door. So like, you can't miss it. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people come in and are just like, I see smoke. I see something big. What is happening in here? I have to go in this place. I think you are getting a lot of buzz in itself. Um, you've had some um, TV spots. Let's see if I oh, can get where it. it. Where is it? Where's the smoke? Yeah. I <laughs> like it. I mean, that in itself is mesmerizing, mesmerizing and exciting. <laughs> yes, it's a lot of fun. And especially when we get kids in, because it's almost right at their eye level. So they're like, oh, smoke. And they love to play in it. It's so much fun. Right. Now, does the nitrogen, does it have a scent? It does not. So it doesn't have a scent, but especially if you're making something buzz, once you blow that smoke in there, you kind of get the flavor or the smell of the ice cream you're creating. So if we mm-hmm. put an extra shot in something and we blast it with the nitrogen, we're like, ooh, that's strong. So we can smell it wow. right away. Wow. Wow. I love it. Now, is this a, uh, a place to party? Everybody keeps saying it's a fun place. Is it a place where you can have parties? Can you have a party there? We can. So we've hosted a couple different happy hours. Um, We're hosting our first private event this weekend. We've had some bachelorette parties come by, which is always a lot of fun. You know, we have people who are like, you know, I'm just leaving Bar Louie or Mission Taco and looking for something else. What can I keep doing? So we, we make it as fun as possible, for sure. Do you ever do like a karaoke night or anything like that? No, but we have a a really big, so right behind me, you can see part of my mural um, that I hired a local artist to create, and um, Uh it's kind of like a U-shaped wall, so it has some really interesting acoustics, so that's something we're playing around with. How can we get a microphone in the stage? Because we have a great sound system, so how can we utilize the space that we do have? Listen, I don't, what what are your hours? We open at 11 every single day, Monday through Sunday. Um, Monday through Thursday, we close at 9. Friday uh-huh. and Saturday, we're open till 10. And on Sundays, we close at 7. Got it. Got it. Look, I'm just thinking from 8 till 10. <laughs> it can it, be sometimes it really turns up in here, yes. And we keep the music really? going. You know, we try to keep the vibe kind of chill. But every once in a while, a good song will come on and, you know, the crowd gets into it. So. <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. That I mean, this is just the coolest concept ever, you know. Thank you. Because it makes you feel like an adult kid. Yes, that's exactly it. You know, we have adults sometimes. I was talking about the kids, but really the adults kind of get even more into it. A lot of people come in and ask, like, oh, is this dry ice? What's the difference between nitrogen and dry ice? So it's really fun to explain. And what's fun for me as the owner and manager is just seeing my staff being able to communicate that same joy and that same passion that I have for the process to our customers. So when customers come in and say, 
hey, we were here the other day and you weren't here, but your staff was just amazing. They, you know, took the time to educate me and whoever I was with, you know, about the process and just made it really exciting for all of us. That's the best thing I could hear. Wow. Are you planning on opening up another franchise? We will see what God has planned. You know, I have a really great space here, so I kind of want to make sure this one's off to a solid start um, and take it one step at a time. You know what? Fair enough. You got to get your feet, uh, your, your feet wet um, and make sure that that's on solid ground. So that makes a ton of sense. What is your favorite flavor since you need to be on solid ground? <laughs> My favorite flavor is probably the bonfire. It's kind of like a s'mores. So um, we put chocolate chips and toasted marshmallow syrup and mix graham crackers in. And then for the adults, we add a uh, cinnamon whiskey. So a couple mm -hmm. shots of fireball. I think it's just a really neat spin on an old classic. So have you ever heard of something called a mudslide? Yes, I have. <laughs> Did you have that there? So we don't have a mudslide. The flavor we have that is closest is probably our death by chocolate, where we do chocolate syrup, um, chocolate sauce, chocolate syrup, brownies, and chocolate chips. However, you know, we can add whipped cream, we can add whatever else to make it as close to a mudslide as possible. We have chocolate and vanilla vodka. Um, we do have a full bar, full top shelf bar. So I try to keep something. When I picked out the bar, I thought, what are the things I want to see when I go somewhere and want to drink? So I kept my own preference along with uh, what the franchise recommends in mind for the bar. So we have top shelf. We, if you're a drinker, we get, we, I guarantee I have something that you drink on my shelf. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if you have your phone or what, you, what do you have? Do you have your computer? I'm curious what your shop looks like because it looks sure. like it's I, I'm on my computer. I can lift it up and kind of give a little. Yeah, give us do. a tour. Give us a tour. So oh, look at that. My the art there. Uh huh. Yeah. Wait, are the, oh, they're drinking out of their milk milkshake. I like it. Yes. Is yes. the cow drunk? Is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the cow is buzzed. The okay, cow is buzzed. Okay. Okay. So I if did I go over here. And we do have customers, so you can see we have a bit of a line yes. for my staff yes. right behind there. And then uh -huh. let me go over near the tape. Hey, how's it going? So, if you see behind me now, we have this giant. Oh, wow, that tape. is big. <laughs> yes, that is and so it is big. right here in our doorway. <laughs> wow. So, I bet you people come in just to look at that, get curious about it. They do. We actually had to put up some plexiglass because so many people want to touch it. But you can see that um, it's starting uh -huh. to cross over. That's how it cold is. the nitrogen is. And then when it comes as close to the line as possible, okay. on our lines, you can kind of see how the spouts are frosted over as well. Right. And then you can see our bar behind me, too. Nice. Nice. What's your best seller? Our best Sellers. Wait, hmm. hold on. Go back, go back to the liquor. Go back to the liquor. What's on the show? <laughs> what what's on the show? You got some of everything. Yeah, look at there. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So yeah, we have some people that come Wait, in and they're literally. Well, you have some Hennessy. <laughs> we do not have Hennessy. <laughs> We get that question a lot, but I do have Remy. I have plenty of other types of Remy, bourbon. wait a minute. You have Crown Royal. I have Crown. I have Peach Crown. I, thought I have I, Apple Crown. I thought, that was, I thought I saw that. It's so funny because some people come in before they even realize we saw ice cream and milkshakes. They're like, I saw Jack Daniels. I don't know what you have. Just make me something with Jack in it. There you go. There you go. Ooh. Could you do like a a rum and coke ice cream? Could you do that? So we certainly have the rum, but we do not have soda. So we haven't found a great way to incorporate anything carbonated. So we don't have beer or sodas um, into the ice cream with the liquid nitrogen. It just doesn't really keep that um, flavor from the beer or from the soda. 
So a lot of people are like, root beer float. It's a missed opportunity. It's like, no, we're trying. We just haven't perfected it yet. You know what? You're a scientist. I know you'll get there. One more. Let me think. Do you have, can you make an amaretto sour ice cream? We do not have amaretto. So okay. we can make, the closest we got to an amaretto sour was kind of like a whiskey lemonade kind of flavor that we made lemonade. So we have you know we can make you like a white russian a pina colada an old-fashioned some people are like i only drink this make me something close to this and that's when we really have fun when we get to experiment with flavors okay so, um one of my managers made a banana pudding flavor that was really good we're working okay. on peach cobbler so we have a lot of fun playing with the flavors too so wait, do you mail? Can you mail somebody ice cream? Can you mail it? Can you <laughs> I it could, but I have to work? send it. I have to send it on dry ice, so it'd be pretty expensive. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I would do it. <laughs> okay, maybe some people would be interested. You know, they just want to taste your ice cream, your creation. I mean, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. It really is. It looks like a lot of fun. Um. You you called it something else, but I think like that amaretto sour, not quite that, um, might be a fun ice cream to taste. I might I might experiment with that. Oh, another one I made, I say to myself, that came out really good. One of my good friends told me she really likes bananas foster, so I made her kind of a banana foster milkshake with rum, yeah. and she loved it. So I added bananas Ooh. and caramel and the rum plus a rum cracker. It was uh -huh. good. That sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. Okay, back to your bestseller. What's your bestseller? I would say it is between the Death by Chocolate, the Tiger Stripes, which is kind of like peanut butter and chocolate, and Strawberry okay. Shortcake. Those are the three that mm. we are constantly churning out. Nice, nice. You know what? You said Strawberry Shortcake. What about a cheesecake? Yes, cheesecake is another one. So for um, that, we don't have any. So we make all of our own toppings. We make our brownies. We make our waffle pieces. We make our cookie dough. So we uh -huh. just don't really have a great way to make the cheesecake and make it suitable in the ice cream because we probably need to be cheesecake balls. And we just haven't really perfected that method with the liquid nitrogen. Okay. It's coming. It's coming, it's yes. It's coming. <laughs> so... If I go to a different um, Bull Buzz, will their flavors be the same as yours or is it all different? So the basic flavors are the same. However, my location is a bit different. Other Buzz Bulls have a coffee and a cookie bar. But because of where we're located in St. Charles, there's already a coffee shop here and a hot box cookie. So we all have kind of exclusivity over those different niche items. So we don't sell coffee or cookies. So other Buzz Bulls might actually have more items on the menu, but the base flavors of the ice cream and milkshakes would all be the same. Okay. Well, I kind of like your concept, you know, where you're just being strict, you know, you're strictly ice cream. I think that's good for... Um, a new business because it's good to be able to focus because you don't have all that extra overhead and ordering. Yes. Uh huh. So it might be a blessing in disguise. I certainly view it that way because, like I said, from day one, we have been so swamped. You know, we're still dealing with some growing pains, but we're growing. It's the main thing. So um, mm -hmm. having a great staff behind me, I think, is the number one reason for our success. And I, I have the best people. I couldn't ask for better people to be here with me. I saw um, I saw an interview with one of your staff, and he was just jumping for joy. <laughs> really, I don't think he could have gotten any happier about his job. <laughs> yes, I really, it's, you know, we, we really thrive on customer service. We have a made-to-order product. So a lot of people come in and they're like, I just want a scoop of vanilla. We're like, well, we still have to make that, right? We don't just have like giant 10 gallon tubs of ice cream. So we try to be as friendly as possible and as educational as possible and just make it a really great experience for all the customers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what? I bet you're not having staffing problems. <laughs> You know, we're a victim of it just like everybody else. But really? um, wow. we are, you know, we, we had a really great summer crew. And then 
a lot of them went back to college. So that's probably oh, been no. our biggest staffing issue. And I mean, we kept them until the very last day. They're like, okay, I'm leaving in the morning. This has to be my last day. <laughs> so Wow. Well, I mean, I guess those are regular staffing problems. I guess what I was referring to is you're not having people saying, I don't want to work there. Uh uh-uh. uh. That is true. You know, we, we keep our now hiring signs up and we have people that come in. You know, I had one person come in and said, I've been here like five times and I just love this place. Can I please work here? And I was like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's what I mean. It seems so fun. It seems so attractive. It seems like everybody's extremely happy. And you had a great product. So your customers are happy also. Yes, definitely. I figure we're making ice cream. We're adding alcohol. It's all about having fun and having a treat. So we try to keep it light and entertaining. So if I just wanted a shot, could I get a shot? No, <laughs> we can't sell a shot on its own. Okay. For our liquor license, it has to be <laughs> in a product. Okay, it has to be in a product. Okay, I got it. So is that why kids can come in also? Yes, that's exactly it. So we are actually the only bus school at this time with a patio. So, um, you know, some places, if they sell alcohol, the patio has to be rubbed off and those kinds of things. So we did kind of travel or travel through some gray area in terms of, okay, we're selling alcohol. You know, you can technically take it to go. It's a milkshake. So do we have to be closed in? Do these laws apply to us? Or so there is some gray area since ice cream is considered a food and then you can't have a drink and a food together. So, um, it might be a little bit different setup at each and every buzz bowl, depending on the state that they're in. Wow. Wow. You know what? You are a great businesswoman as well as a scientist. <laughs> that is absolutely wonderful. Now, can you break down a little bit of the science behind that for me? Just of the process of how we make the ice yes. cream? Yes. Sure. So I'm actually going to go back towards the counter. Okay. Because I want to emphasize how tech forward our concept is. Okay. So let me go to one that's uh, actively steaming. So you can see this spout here. Okay. We have everything connected Wait, hold on. via tablet. Hold on. I'm going to put you on solo. Go ahead. Okay. So yes. here is our typical setup where we have our KitchenAid mixer. This spout is connected to the liquid nitrogen. Okay. And um, everything runs on a tablet screen. So we have all of our options here. And then you can select your option. And then you hit make ice cream, and it'll start to dispense it. So okay. in addition to having the innovative concept of adding the nitrogen, we also made it really tech friendly. Wow, that is really neat. You know what? I think I can almost taste it to the through the screen. I can almost taste it through the screen. It looks so good. <laughs> yeah. Do you have we, something? Uh, wait, let me see something that. Do you have something that you that we can see, like the texture and everything? So, can you make is, something? <laughs> Sam, can you make something? Make your favorite item. <laughs> she's like say less so, <laughs> she's like, I want it she's like right. yeah so this is our base machine where she's adding our milk base uh -huh. so she'll pour it in and then she's gonna get whatever flavoring she needs she's, oh she's making a lemon cake I already know so she's getting <laughs> some lemon adding that in there ooh lemon so we have just about every flavor you can think of. And then she's going to add the blueberry vodka. It's, so it's her personal favorite lemon cake with okay. blueberry vodka. I think it was uh, Courtney who told me about it. And you can go ahead and start freezing it if you don't mind. Wow. So then she'll connect it there on the mixer. We're going to add our blade in. Put her on the spot, so. <laughs> right. Okay. Now it won't pop on. Okay, it's on. So then you can see in the bowl, it starts to uh -huh. mix. 
Uh-huh. And there goes the nitrogen. Ooh. What does that smell like? What does that smell like right now? Right now it smells like blueberry vodka. <laughs> Because mm. <laughs> that's what she added to it. Blueberries and lemon is what it smells like. <laughs> My imagination is flying all over the place. I think that I can smell it through the screen. <laughs> well, I hope you can talk to that one day. Uh, hopefully you can taste it through the screen too. You know what? With uh, the metaverse, I think that might happen one day. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what uh, Zuckerberg's up to. Right. So it takes about two to three minutes to fully freeze um, all of our items because we do make everything from scratch. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And that probably gives it an extremely fresh taste. Yes, it does. It definitely does. So we use lemon and apple syrup, but we use fresh strawberries and bananas, cherries, and pineapple. Mm -hmm. The lemon and orange are the only two uh, fruit flavors that we don't use fresh fruit for. I got it. Now, how does everybody get some Buzz Bull merch? How do they get that from you? Buzz Bull merch. So, um, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on a bowl. Now, it just looks like ice cream. So, she'll scoop it out in just a minute. She's just adding a little more. To keep it from being quite so frozen. We don't want to break anybody's teeth off. <laughs> but, do people get um, brain so, freeze a lot? Or how? If they do, they don't mention it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'll, I'll go ahead and show how she scoops the ice cream, too. <laughs> but over here. <laughs> wow. This looks so fun. It looks so fun. Oh, that's cold. That's super cold. Yes, it is. <laughs> she can't even touch the bowl. She's a pro, so she can still get everything, you know, scooped out. Yeah. Mmm. Then do you want to show the final product? So here's how the ice cream comes out looking. And then with this particular one, we add waffle pieces and whipped cream to it and cake, batter. And cake wow. batter. But before we do that, that's kind of how all our products look coming right out of the bowl. Wow. <laughs> it's like, I love my you job. Look her. I love my job. I love my job. That's what she's saying. Wait, does it taste yeah. like lemon? Tell her, what does that taste like? What does it taste you like? what it tastes like? It tastes like like blueberries and rainbows. Blueberries and rainbows. Blueberries <laughs> That's what I learned in rainbows. <laughs> so, wow. you know, here you can definitely have all the ice cream you can eat. You know, perk of the job, right? <laughs> perk of the job. That is fantastic. Okay. All right. I'll go back. Tell us a little bit about the science behind this fantastic process. Sure. So with the liquid nitrogen, um, there's only certain places you can get nitrogen from. We have the largest possible nitrogen tank, which is 3,000 liters. Okay. Um, everything we make is like a mini science experiment, and it's a lot of fun, obviously, with the smoke, right? So mm -hmm. when we add the nitrogen, it freezes the alcohol and the cream base all together. Mm -hmm. And then certain toppings we can freeze right in the ice cream and others we just put on top. For instance, you know, your strawberries, we're going to want to freeze those in. The M&Ms, we don't want to freeze them so hard that you break your teeth. So we tend to add those at the end. So this is a bit of a fine balance, finding out the right time to add which mix in. So what about like, I have a thing for pecans. What about pecans? We have tons of pecans. That's probably one of our, you know, we go through the more pecans than probably Oreos. So uh, we yeah. definitely use a lot of pecans. We add those in at the end as well. But because the pecans are already a little bit harder as opposed to chocolate or something softer, they do better adding them earlier in the process where they're not going to be completely mixed down to where you can't even tell there's pecans in there. Okay. If that makes sense. 
It does. It does. Now, my favorite blizzard is pecans, Oreos, and just like that vanilla ice cream. What would you do to it to spice that up? So, I would probably add, you mean with a buzz, right? Oh, yeah, with a buzz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how would you buzz that up? Maybe I should say, how would you buzz that up? I would buzz that either with chocolate vodka, maybe peanut butter whiskey, if you want to throw another flavor in, or the Remy Martin. The Remy is really good, and just a vanilla caramel shake is perfect for Remy. Wow. I don't even know what Remy tastes like, but maybe I should find out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me be the one to introduce it to you in milkshake form. <laughs> okay, it sounds good. That sounds beautiful. What about wine? Do you guys do wine? We do not do wine. So similar to the beer, it just doesn't keep that same flavor once we hit it with the liquid nitrogen. So people are always like, oh, there's so many wineries in Missouri, so many opportunities for collaboration. I'm like, yes, and I absolutely want to. However, it just doesn't come out tasting quite the same. But you want to know something? You could be a treat there. Yes, that is definitely um, an area I hope to expand to where we can sell our ice cream at other businesses, um, mm -hmm. especially, you know, the businesses here in the same strip that we're in, adding ice cream on their menu. So. Mm -hmm. Because you're in a, um, a, a booming new area. I looked it up. It's a lot of, I got a lot of new construction around there. Yes, yes, absolutely. So the streets of St. Charles, I think have been under construction or not, or began construction about 10 years ago. And um, they're constantly adding on over here. They're building up the, we're right on the, the Missouri River. So they're building up the riverfront, adding, I think another 200 apartments. So the area is definitely expanding and we're right on the corner. We have a great location. I predict amazing, beautiful things for you. Thank you. Listen, you have taken taken steam to a new level. <laughs> I don't mean I don't mean what's coming out of the you know the smoke that's coming. Not out literal of the, steam, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, um, science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. Did and you I ever can, if I may, it? I can, I can add away how we're using every single one of those concepts, right? So Ooh, science, yeah. the chemical components of the nitrogen, right? Mm -hmm. um, engineering, the way we had to assemble our entire store to make sure that we can fill our nitrogen externally, that it can travel through the store all the way to our mixers that we can use it safely. Okay. Technology is um, our forward thinking tablets where everything is controlled by a tablet. You don't have to manually add the nitrogen. Um, there's no way to hurt yourself unless you like try really hard. If you squirt the nitrogen on your face, you might freeze wow. those. But otherwise, there's no other way to hurt yourself. For art, you know, everything we come out looks like a work of art. Everything's made to order. So no two items look exactly the same. So everything truly is custom. And sometimes, you know, we get a little fancier. We pile our whipped cream a little higher. Yeah, two mm -hmm. cherries instead of one. You know, a little extra chocolate drizzle here. So you do get kind of that artistic piece. Like, how high can I stack these toppings? How beautiful can I make this milkshake? And that gets fun. And then mathematics, everything is measurements. All behind the counter, I have the exact measurements. How much base, how much alcohol, how much chocolate, how much everything to add in. So steam is present in every aspect of this business. That is magnificent. What would you tell, you know, other little girls that want to keep their mischievous side, but mm. also, right, right, <laughs> um, want to em uh, embrace the science that in that's in their heart? What would you tell them? I would tell them, don't let people put you in a box. When I was going through college, I went to Tuskegee University in Tuskegee, Alabama. I'm a very proud HBCU graduate. And Tuskegee is definitely a science school. So um, there, there's a big focus on engineering. So a lot of people kind of have these career paths in mind already. But for me, I didn't really know. I knew I really liked science, but I didn't know what I wanted to do with that. So I would say just don't let people box you in or make you feel like there's only one or two options you can pursue if you love science. 
Wow, I love that. Now, you mentioned that you went to a uh, HBCU school. What does that mean exactly for people in our audience that might not know? That means Historically Black College or University. Excellent, excellent. And then how did that serve you? How did that uh, fuel your mission uh, to be in science and start on this wonderful journey? Oh man, I could go on forever about Tuskegee, but what fueled me with Tuskegee in general, every the entire campus is a national historic landmark. Okay. The entire campus. So when you look at the original buildings on campus, they were made brick by brick by the students. That's how they made money for the school in the very beginning. In 1881, they were building the bricks to build the buildings for their education. So when you step foot on that campus, you can feel the determination of the students before us that would do anything for education. So to know that they use that red clay dirt that uh, Alabama is known for to create something and go into the community and make more money, you just can't help but be inspired by that. Mm -hmm. And then when you think of all the great accomplishments that come out of Tuskegee, George Washington Carver, Booker T. Washington, we have so many great scientists um, that came from Tuskegee. It just, you truly feel like the possibilities are endless because you can see them in front of you. You see people who look like you actively doing research and the work that you want to do yourself. So mm -hmm. that just, mm -hmm. uh, some chills down the spine. I just love Tuskegee. I can't say enough good things because there are a few places you can go on earth where you're just surrounded by black scientists, by so much black excellence. Oh, that is beautiful. And since we're going down that road, I noticed that uh, someone said they're so proud of uh, their story. What did you pledge, my dear? I am a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Isn't that wonderful, Soror? <laughs> Sure. Did you see my AKA tag with it? There it is. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely uh, uh, wonderful. So give the AKAs a beautiful uh, shout out. All right. Absolutely. I'll give them a ski. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm just lifting you up with the, uh, um, all of your excellence. I'm so proud of you. Before I go, the, I mean, before I move on, did your husband pledge too? He is. He's a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it is just, it, wait, it, did he go to Morehouse? Are we just he went to Tuskegee. Okay, he went to Tuskegee too. Okay. Yes. He okay. is a Tuskegee gentleman, yes. <laughs> well, you know what? We are getting it right tonight. We are we're getting it right. We are getting buzzed. And we are just bringing the, the history to the now. That's what it feels like. Because St. Charles is a very uh, historic place. It's rich in culture and um it's a very, it's very charming. Even though there's a bunch of new construction, right? And then you went to this historical school. You are a part of Alpha Kappa Alpha, which is the first black uh, sorority and yeah, the finest. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, and your husband, your your husband is. Um, a member of Alpha Phi Alpha, the first Black fraternity. So, is there a is there a, a history buff in that science heart of yours? Is there a history buff in that science? What I didn't catch the last word. Is there a history buff in that science heart of yours? When it pertains to Tuskegee, yes, I can tell you everything about George Washington Carver, Booker T. Washington, every famous person from Tuskegee. I can list all our presidents. <laughs> But I do not consider myself a history buff by any means. You know, it's, people always kind of say they're more social science and regular science. Some people really excel at math and science. Other people excel at English and history. I'm on the math and science side, English and history, not my strong suit at, by any means. Well, you know what? Uh, you have, I think there is someone who simply loves uh, history because you're certainly making it. How about that? Well, thanks. Awesome. 
Are there any particular points you want to leave us with about uh, your beautiful business there or, or your organization at all? I would like to leave it with um, our stores have been so supportive of my business. Um, it feels good to know that you're part of an organization who will support you endlessly. Um, mm -hmm. So many stores have given me advice, you know, and been here to support. Some stores I see almost every other day because they can't get enough of the buzz. So it's just really fun to have that connection to the community here, to know that I have that support system. And again, I'm going to emphasize it. I'll say it till death me to have a great staff. So if you ever come to Buzz Bowl, you don't see my smiling face. You'll see someone else's who's just as excited to be here as I am. And that's really what makes this a great place. You know what? I'm just going to have to agree with you. Your staff, they just seem elated. Maybe because they're buzzed, but they all seem <laughs> <laughs> elated uh, just to be in the atmosphere. And um, I think it might stem, stem from you, I have to tell you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, uh, your mom, right before you go, your mom, do you want to give your son a shout out? <laughs> yes, my son's name is Benjamin. So the security guard here always says, where's the president? Where's the president? He's talking about Ben. He's been here every step of the way. You know, when we visit, when my husband and I went to the first Buzz Bull that inspired this journey, Ben was there. We got his picture in front of the Buzz Bull sign. You know, every time he comes in here, everyone knows what kind of ice cream he wants, which is chocolate with sprinkles. That's Ben's favorite. <laughs> and he always wants to help. And he's just pushing the broom back and forth. He's so excited to <laughs> just be a part and work hard. He comes in and wipes tables because that's what he sees everyone else doing. So he's like, go to Buzz Bull Creamery. Go to Mommy Shaw. He's only two. So. Oh my goodness. And we have to give Honey, we have to give your husband a shout out. Yes, yes. I couldn't have done it without him, without him and his support. You know, I don't know how many partners would be like, you know what, I'm just going to let my spouse do whatever and open a business and be gone all night and do whatever they got to do. So um, he's been really supportive. It's been a lot of fun. Um, he <laughs> he likes to keep his name out of it. But anytime he's here, he's like, you're an hour buzz bull. <laughs> I'm like, ours or mine? <laughs> Well, you know what? He, you know what? He's a silent, supportive partner. That's true. Very true. And he seems to be really impressed with your IT game. <laughs> yes. So we are both scientists and he's actually a current PhD student at Washington University here in St. Louis. So um, he loves the science. I would say more than me, but I can't give him that much credit. So at least as much as me. <laughs> That is fantastic. That is fantastic. I just can't thank you enough for showing us your beautiful shop and then bringing us your heart that is full of delight and love. You are just be a beautiful woman. Thank you. You are too. I'm, I'm happy you reached out to me, truly. Right. When I saw the concept, I was like, oh, I'm calling her. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I mean, y'all, it was immediate. As soon as the KMOV interview aired at like 9.30 that day, by 10 o'clock, we were on the phone. <laughs> I am quick, am I not? I am quick I, because I love the concept immediately. And I, the joy, you are putting smiles on people's faces in their hearts. Um, and it just shined through, you know, the screen. And I wanted to be a part of it. Thank you. I'm glad to have you as a part. <laughs> Thank you. So thank you for hanging out with me. Don't you go anywhere. We're going to let the audience go, but I'm going to pick her brain a bit behind the scenes. You never know when she'll show up again. That's true. <laughs> so go get buzzed, you know, go get buzzed. Order some on, wait, I forgot. How do they find you online so they can get your merchandise? Oh, yes. So we are at Buzz Bull St. Charles Mo on everything. Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, all of it. At Buzz Bull St. Charles Mo. All right. Buzz Bull St. Charles Mo. Now, I was going to tell, I was going to tell, go get Buzz, order some ice cream online. You know, it'll be worth it. She's going to ship it to you in dry ice. And, uh, <laughs> It'll be worth it. Or at the very least, order some uh, merch. Support her. She's awesome. Thank you. 
My pleasure. Family, thank you for hanging out with me. It has been an amazing time. And I'll just say bye-bye for now. You're winning. You're winning. You're winning.